we got to loop in what happened Friday night here. Um, I maintain Michigan is the most disappointing team in the country because of all of this. Six and four after what it's been able to do under Jawan Howard. Um, yes or no? I say yes. Michigan's the most disappointing team because obviously the other teams that would be Memphis, which lost at Murray State. You could include Maryland if you want, but Sunday might actually impact that. And then Oregon was a preseason top 15 level team. They're bad. I think it's Michigan because I wasn't necessarily putting my expectation as high as Memphis. What say you? I mean, I'm not going to try to spin it good on Michigan because the Minnesota loss at home by double digits is inexplicable. Um, but the other losses are like Seton Hall's good. Arizona's great. North Carolina is, you know, still North Carolina. You go over to Memphis. Iowa State looks good. They're legit, but they were picked last in the Big 12, but they look good. Yeah, but you can't do that with Minnesota. That's the, they, they, they like cancel out when comparing the two. Okay. Memphis lost at Georgia. Georgia was without its point guard, and Georgia is ranked 164th at Ken Palm, and Georgia is 4-5 and five on the season. Memphis lost to the Ole Miss team that just got destroyed by Western Kentucky. By the way, a Western Kentucky team that Memphis destroyed. But that whole team's just imploded. And then they just lost it home to Murray State. And now they've got Alabama coming in on Tuesday night, yeah. the FedEx Forum. Penny Hardaway might be the – if he doesn't upset Alabama on Tuesday night, Penny Hardaway will be the first – trivia time! Oh, boy. Go ahead. If Penny Hardaway doesn't upset Alabama on Tuesday night, he'll be the first <laughs> Memphis coach to lose five straight games in a season since – um, there's a coach. Isn't there a coach in there that uh, that coached uh, either late '90s or early 2000s, and he was there for one or two seasons, and he's more known for coaching somewhere else? I, I'm I can't remember who it was, but am I am I in the am I in the right pew? Yes. Mm. Memphis Can had you... a long a long tenure under Larry Finch. Right. They fired him. They hired somebody. That person coached. They had to fire him because he was having a relationship with a co-ed. Then they had an interim coach for one year, and that interim coach lost five games in that season. And that interim coach went on to be an SEC coach. Okay. I got I'm, I got to close out our live comments here in case someone guesses it. Um, he went on. Not an active SEC coach, though. Not anymore. Now you've brought this up on the pod way back, though. I'm not going to be able to pull it. Oh, man, GP. This is an X for me. Just say it. I'm, I'm going to know it when you say it. Johnny Jones. <laughs> Johnny Jones. They went from Larry Finch to Tick Price. Tick Price had to resign right before season. Johnny Jones was the interim in the 1999-2000 year, and he lost five games in a row that year. And no Memphis coach has ever lost five in a row since. Josh Pastner, by the way. Never lost more than three in a row. Penny just lost four. Johnny Jones. I knew it. I knew it. Fortunately, that's my beat around guitar. I don't care that I just threw my remote on it. Um, yeah, that's a problem, man. And Memphis took that game from him. Uh, I mean, um, Murray State took that game from Memphis. Uh, I went back and watched a little bit of the replay. I was not watching in real time there. I, I didn't assume Memphis was going to win. I didn't. But then I got like three different texts from three people probably about 10, oh. 20 minutes after the game ended. And I was like, of course this happened, man. Here, here's the other thing. Memphis has now lost three times as a double-digit favorite. I bet you there's no other team in America that's lost three times as a double-digit favorite. Probably not. I still go Michigan. What's wild about Michigan is its football team wasn't ranked in the preseason top 25 and is going to the college football playoff. Its men's basketball team was like a top three, top five level team. And it's just, I don't know. Uh, again, this statement is factual. Penny Hardaway is yet to cut is yet to coach an NCAA tournament level team at Memphis. Yes, they are disappointing, but my expectations of Juwan and Michigan were just higher than Memphis, but Memphis is a bigger mess. I think that's undeniable, but you know, it's just, you know, six and one half dozen of the other.